So you might have heard that uh, BlackRock and Citadel are coming together to make their own stock exchange in Texas. Pretty big news, right? There's only been ever one area for stock exchanges in the U.S. That's been New York. The NYSE and the NASDAQ have dominated the space. But now there's two people coming together who've got a lot of money to try and make something happen. And there's a video from uh, this How Money Works channel kind of diving into this. So we're going to watch this, see if they can dive into this more and describe like what's going on. Because I would imagine that BlackRock and Citadel aren't coming here to just try and throw another stock exchange up there. It's probably, hopefully, to just make things better and more innovative. Last week, BlackRock, the world's largest asset manager, and Citadel Securities, the world's largest hedge fund, teamed up to make a major announcement that could reshape global financial markets. They were going to team up to create a new Wall Street in Texas. These two companies have the financial muscle to make the Texas Stock Exchange giant, viable. Giant but funds. the question is, why? We have seen three incidents in the last week or so since T plus one was implemented. BlackRock and Citadel Securities, dozens of individual investors have raised $120 million for the exchange with the goal Among of the making a first trade. a bid for a new national stock exchange based in Texas. The startup exchange. So this, I guess, is uh, obviously they've got $120 million. Now, I don't know if that's a lot of money or not because... It, it seems like it'd be a lot to start an exchange, especially one where they're probably not gonna have like physical locations where like people are on the floor trading. That just doesn't really happen anymore. Uh, but they also want to, they talk about T plus one, which should be the settlement stuff. And there's been a bunch of discussion about settlement and how it's been working and the problems with it, because now there is technology in this blockchain stuff and BlackRock's been obsessed with tokenizing things. So it would kind of shock me to see them do this and not want to make a instant settlement layer where they don't have the settlement times and they do it instantly using some sort of blockchain. They'll say blockchain and tokenization, all the keywords, but probably their own private one and just make it instant. That might be the innovation that they're going for. Change that will be located in Dallas is already taking shots to challenge the dominance of the New York Stock Exchange and the NASDAQ, which are both located in New York City and are by far the largest exchanges in America and also the largest exchanges in the world. Both of these incumbents are private businesses that make money by providing a place where public stocks and other financial instruments can be traded securely. They make their, their money businesses. by charging companies that want to list on their exchange a one-time IPO fee and an ongoing annual fee. The New York Stock Exchange is really not much different to a farmer's market where businesses will pay the market business. organizer for the right to sell their stuff in a place with lots of customers. The only difference is that instead of beets in artisanal honey, they are selling shares in their company. If the New York Stock Exchange is like a farmer's market, then the NASDAQ is like eBay. It's still a marketplace, but it's all done online. This is what I think BlackRock is going to try and be more digital and not more uh, in person. So I think they'll be more like the NASDAQ in, in, in the sense of how they're done trading. But also, I think that they're going to do this instant settlement stuff. And to differentiate themselves even more, probably, you know, because they talk about tokenization and uh, blockchains and all that stuff probably do something that's 24 seven. So I think that'll be the real innovations here. If they're going for that is going to be instant settlement and also 24 seven trading. As long as a business gets approval from the Securities and Exchange Commission, there is nothing to stop them from establishing their own stock exchange wherever they want. There are already about a dozen stock markets operating in America already, but none have come close to these two because companies want to list their shares in markets with the most money. So with this too, I don't know if this is really a, you know, a talking point or people don't really know about it yet, but I think people should be excited about this happening, even though it's BlackRock and Citadel. Those are not popular companies for good reasons, right? But the New York Stock Exchange and NASDAQ, they basically have control over the entire markets. They and do whatever they want and because they have that they don't have to make things better they don't have to innovate uh you have companies that operate basically in tandem with them like robin hood trying to do overnight trading this 24 7 stuff but it's not every stock it gets shut down depends on the volatility so there's a lot of things that go along with that so this texas stock exchange if done right and if if done competitively will just make everything better for everyone like if BlackRock and Citadel are running their exchange and they have 24-7 trading and they have instant settlement and doing all this. It'll force the older ones to innovate, to get this new tech going, to make things better and have a better experience for everyone involved. So at the end of the day, everyone wins because of the competition. So this should be 
a good thing, and it should force everyone to be better. So why is this new challenger bucking the trend and setting up in Texas? Well, why not Texas? Texas is currently home to over 50 Fortune 500 companies. It is in a more central okay. location between the East and West Coasts and is much more business friendly than New York. The New York Times noted in their coverage of the story that many companies have avoided listing on the New York exchanges because of what they call regulatory overreach. This makes sense too, I guess, uh, you know, New York is definitely not business. I don't think anyone would say it's business friendly. There's a lot of regulations and like business and regulations fight each other all the time because businesses just want to run their business and not have to worry about stuff. Regulation try and keep things under control. Some things regulated, all right, can understand that. But most of the time, regulation just get in the way. But this is brought up some good points like this. I didn't even even think of this, but Texas being center, obviously in the center of America, everything's been East Coast biased because of this New York Stock Exchange, NASDAQ. At 930, the market's open. That's when everyone has to wake up. If you're in California, you got to be up at 630 a.m. because that's when everything starts going if you're in this financial world. What I would wonder is if Texas... Is going to, if they're going to run like off central time and say like 9 a.m. central in Texas, which would be 10 a.m. Eastern, that they're going to start their exchange. Or if they do 24 7, obviously it won't matter, right? Because it'll go 24 7. It doesn't have an open and closed date. So it, it could be interesting. And being central, it, it does make sense. So I think, I think this is going to be a good thing if done right. Obviously, if it's BlackRock and Citadel just trying to you know, do their own thing and make some money and just run something and not actually innovate, then it's not going to matter. You can call it what you want, but federal laws in conjunction with New York state laws and exchange laws have prevented a lot of businesses from selling their shares publicly. I didn't even know that. I mean, I guess it makes sense not to go up public, but with this, I think they actually talk about it a little bit, but with this, like people get locked out of companies in the early stages because of regulation, because you have to be a certain a certain net worth individual or make a certain amount of money to invest privately so it just kicks out basically 99 percent of other people and you can't get into these early companies which are the most risky but have the most upside right that's why crypto is so popular people think that they have the illusion of getting in early and it's not really that case but getting in early in something if you're right can have insane gain that's why people do vc investing and uh, if this opens up where newer companies can just kind of go public in this more business friendly place and offer their shares, there's still a risk there that obviously you could lose it all. It's a lot easier to lose it all in that case, but you also get to participate in what could be the upside. So I think everyone should be free to make that decision, to do what they want and put their money where they want. They so might it's time to, to learn how money works innovation. to find out why Hopefully. some of the most powerful financial institutions in the world want to build a new Wall Street in Texas. BlackRock and Citadel Securities have led a group of investors who raised approximately $120 million to start a new exchange according to an announcement by the new company themselves. That makes the Texas Stock Exchange the most well-funded registration with the SEC ever. I guess These companies a lot of are money. not playing Number around. One. BlackRock and Citadel will be giving the exchange more than just cash as well. As some of the biggest market makers in the world, they will offer liquidity to the new market to make it an enticing option for new companies looking to go public. Having lower important. fees and less dumb rules than the New York Stock Basically Exchange is all well and good. In. But if there are no investors using the market, then no companies are going to want to list themselves there because they won't be able to get the best price for their shares. But just BlackRock alone has $9 trillion in assets under management. So even if a tiny part of the firm's operations are directed through this new exchange, that would be more than enough buying power to make the market a viable option for most companies considering to go public. For Citadel, the new stock exchange will be another market they can operate in to generate returns, and the more companies they get onto public markets, the more assets they will have to trade. A new major stock exchange in Texas could also put pressure on major incumbents, the NASDAQ and the New York Stock Exchange, to lower their listing fees and service prices to compete. Sean Tuffy said better. in an interview with DL News about the new stock market that two of the biggest players in U.S. capital markets are looking to disrupt the existing exchanges because it could be good for their existing businesses to do so. So that could be something that's insane, pretty good. Obviously, uh, Texas having more business friendly, being more open to uh, getting companies on there, I think can benefit people. If done right, it can innovate the space 24-7 trading, instant settlement. I think that they could get that done working on this, especially apparently that they are the number one funded exchange ever. So they should be able to put that money to use. 
and being backed by two of these major players in this space, BlackRock, who has $9 trillion to play with, and Citadel, who's one of the largest market makers in this, in this financial space. I think that this thing could be an insane uh, just way to spice things up, innovate, and make things better. I think at the end of the day, competition is always a good thing. This Texas market, if it ha ends up happening, hopefully it does, I think will be a net positive for everyone. But I guess we'll have to wait and see. I don't know when this is launching. I don't know when they plan on putting this stuff out and saying, you know, this Texas stock exchange is going live now. Hopefully it's sometime soon. Hopefully we don't have to wait like 10 years for anything to actually happen with this thing. I don't know how long it takes to build out an exchange, but I want to see this happen. I want to see the competition. I want to drive innovation and get things better for everyone because at the end of the day the consumer wins with competition best thing before this video as always do my subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video